Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be about how to make a gaming Twitter header for your Twitter profile, obviously, and it's going to look pretty cool. So let's get started. All right. So as always, start by going up to file new. The dimensions for this will be 1500. 500 and name whatever you'd like and hit create now we need an idea for a theme so i think i'm going to go with call of duty for this theme so let's find a background that's call of duty okay so i found a background i want to go with so i'm just going to right click on it copy it go back to photo p control v to paste it and we got our background here so we just want to align it the way we want to now let's find a character to put in our picture Okay, so I found a picture, copy it, bring it back. And you'll see there's white, so we can get rid of this really easily. So I'm just gonna go to edit, retransform, make it small. So we can work with it. I accidentally deformed it, let's try that again. Hold shift while you do it. So now we can go to our magic wand tool right here. Left click anywhere on the white and hit delete. So that fixed it. Retransform it again, make it bigger the way we want it. Hit that check mark when you're done with it. Now it's kind of low res, so that's that kind of sucks, but you can find a better resolution picture if you'd like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click our background layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and turn it to about However much you want, but I'm going to go with 3.6. I'm going to click on this guy, this layer right here. Go to image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and just adjust a little bit. And image adjustments again, vibrance. Tell I'm satisfied. This is pretty good. I'm going to do the same thing with the background. Brightness and contrast. And the brightness a little bit lower on that. Vibrance for the background. Okay, looks pretty good so far. Now we're going to type in our name with the text tool right here. We'll do cam bit, turn it all the way up. And I'm going to choose the commando font. Because uh, I think it will fit this pretty well. Turn the size up to about 200. Hit that check mark. Now you want to make sure your text layer is below the dude standing here. So it's behind it. Give it that cool 3D look. All right, so now we're ready to start working on the text. So double click on your text layer and go to gradient overlay. We'll just do white to black. That works. Go to inner glow. Make sure the color is white and change the blend mode to normal. Change the opacity up all the way and adjust the spread and size, however much you want. I'm going to go with about 25 size, 22 spread, but it will vary depending on your text size. I'm going to add a drop shadow now. Change the spread all the way up. Turn the blend mode to normal. Opacity 100. Angle 90 degrees. And I'm just going to turn the distance down a little bit. So it's below it. And I'm also going to change the color to like. Now black's pretty good actually. Yeah, we'll go with this. And you can add any other effects you want to your text. But this is what I'm going to go with for now. So the next part, I'm going to add some smoke down here. So just look up smoke PNG and you should be able to find some smoke images. So. I found some right here. I'm just going to find a random one like this one. Actually, no, we'll do a different one. We'll do this one. Copy it, bring it back, paste it. And if you keep hitting everything else but the smoke, you can just click the layer, go to edit, free transform, and you should be able to adjust it. You can see the smoke in the background just barely, but it gives it a nice little effect to it. 
if you want to add your social medias down here all you got to do is look up whatever social media you want like twitter logo png can't type like this find one that works for you um i'll go with this one copy it bring it back control v edit free transform and adjust the size like this i mean i know this is twitter already this is for twitter so you wouldn't have your twitter but this is just an example now we could type in our at so i'll do at at what the heck i can't even see my text because black text at oh there's no at symbol i'll just do cambit which is my twitter but i don't really care about it so don't worry about following it so we could just move these like this and say i want to change the twitter logo i'm going to find that layer but this one i'm going to double click on it go to color overlay and just change it to whatever color i want i'll do white with black stroke like this So you get the idea. Um, that's basically how you do it. Hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.